Fantastic Red Hawk 22C here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this is a member actually of the Red Hawk SE series, which is really like the, the simplified edition is how I like to call it. It's it, everything that's still important is still here. Everything that makes it a Jayco motorhome and a Red Hawk is still here. Like all the extra warranties and protections and, and extra efforts that they go to. It's just wrapped up in a, a, a simpler package it's gonna save you a little bit of money. Now, um, the one here in this video happens to be on a, a Chevy chassis. The uh, Chevy 4500 chassis, interestingly, actually has more horsepower than the Ford, a little less torque though, so it kinda depends on which side of that coin you need to be on. If you don't know what those things mean, please call our team so we can explain that to you, because you know every everyone looks for different information on these. I cannot possibly do this thing its entire justice with a click, uh, <laughs> click, quick, flyby video like we're looking at here. So uh, if you have specific questions or interests or needs, please, please give our team a call so we can uh, answer questions for you. Now, uh, this really fits a, a, a unique niche within the Jayco lineup. They never had a good little starter floor plan before. This is something that's very traveling friendly, and if you skip to the end of the video, or if you just wait, which would be even better, you will, uh, you'll get to see that I actually closed one of these up and, and show you what it looks like when it's all closed in the traveling position. That being said, with nothing but a bedroom slide, it doesn't change a whole heck of a lot. So, um, like all Jayco's, let's start with warranty. This has best warranty of anything I've ever seen in its category. Jayco has always pretty much had double the warranty of industry standard and that doesn't change here with their two year 24,000 mile warranty. Now um, you've got you know uh, additional warranties from uh, GM on that Chevy chassis there and your powertrain and whatnot. Uh, the um, Ooh, I need to check. I believe for our Canadian customers that it warranty, yes, because this does extend into Canada. The Mercedes uh, chassis, actually, the warranty does not extend into Canada. This one will. We've got our 4100 Onan generator down here. Um, that's one of the, the best, or pardon me, 4000 watt Onan generator right here. Um, it's one of the best parts of this thing so that you, you can live life untethered. Now, one of the things that they don't have in the Red Hawk SEs is like baggage door holdback clips. That's again, one of those things where this has everything it needs, nothing it doesn't. And I know that those things are convenient, but they're not necessary. So it's simplicity items like that that have been removed, nothing structural, such as this full sleeving over the wall nose cap. Uh, the snake oil salesman down the street likes to tell their customers that uh, the, the whole bunk is going to fall off of those uh, Jayco motorhomes. The whole front of that's going to fall off and then you're going to be left with an open and exposed RV. And it's just laughable that that's how some people still have to make their living in this world. If you pay attention here, you can actually see where this cap, because it's a full cap, sleeves over the existing construction. Because this is the full base platform under the uh, overhead cab and you can see that it actually sleeves over. And if you get really close, you can see how this cap sticks out a little further from this wall, because the wall does extend all the way down. It's got full skeletal structure, full wall structure, but it's seamless. And, and that's one of the, uh, the Jayco advantages here, is that they've created this seamless front cap, even here on their most base level motor home, this little, I don't know, maybe qualify as the word mini home, not that that really has a definition, so that you don't have leaks and seams. When we take in used Class C's that have a traditional non-sleeved overhead cab, it is the first place we go. When our uh, used RV buyer, he walks out, he, he, there, people can be telling him a story, and, he, and he's like, yep, that's fantastic. But in the meantime, he's walking in, he hops in the RV, and he lifts up that front mattress. He's looking for mold and mushrooms and leaks. Because on a lot of used Class C's, it's not if, but when it had a leak. Well, Jayco's doing what they can to eliminate that problem. They've done very well with it. Full outside utility shower, because that's a full function item. You need that there. Black tank flush. You've got all those handy things. Um, this still has a, uh, a backup monitor system. I have seen some, it's very uncommon, don't get me wrong, but some really cutthroat pricey stuff in your entry level market. Uh, removing some important safety features like that. You won't see that kind of logic uh, done here. What I like is what they did, and you'll see it inside, is your backup monitor actually uh, takes the place of where your rear view mirror would be in like your vehicle. So it's got a very natural organic feel. When you're backing up, that's where you are naturally trained to look ever since we took driver's training for the first and last time when we were 16 years old. <laughs> 
Now, uh, this has a, a 5,000 pound tow rating with a 500 pound uh, tongue capacity. That is a difference between the Chevy and the Ford chassis. Your Jacob Class C's and the Ford chassis actually have the industry's best towing rating at 7,500 pounds and a 70, uh, 750 pound tongue rating without external uh, hitching upgrade like a weight distribution set. But when you want to put a little chase vehicle back here, horse trailer, enclosed trailer, maybe you got a dirt bike you're taking to the, the tracks or something, we have a lot of that around here in southern Michigan, uh, you are all set. Now, safety is a big deal at Jayco. They have uh, LED tail lights because when you're at highway speeds, when you hit the brakes, LED tail lights will flash a little faster and give the person behind you up to five foot of additional stopping time behind you. They also put an additional stoplight, uh, the little cyclops light, up at the top there because when you are stopping, people tend to look up because when we have, I don't know, danger, when we need to stop quickly, we become alert and our heads snap up to attention, not down. Uh, your uh, 12 volt power awning here gives you that nice little patio space you're gonna want. I've got some terrible light for video purposes coming in from the sun here. Uh, something I don't wanna miss are these little uh, uh, exterior storage bays here because Jayco goes to a lot of extra extent on these. Uh, first of all, you can see that they are all top sealed. Jayco top seals all exterior components. Um, it's, it's just like an extra uh, water prevention method. Uh, secondly, hold on, let me get my keys here and open this thing up. Do, 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 should have been prepared. I fail. I've been failing all day today. My wife will tell you I was wrong about something before I got out of bed, and chances are she's right. So this right here is a little outside um, TV, like entertainment thing right here. And we do have a nice little solar prep station, and these are things that are easy to miss. But you can see how it's got all, like, uh, formed aluminum innards in here, not cheap plastic stuff. Now what's also interesting is from the factory level, every single coach Jayco makes, they pull into the shop and they lift up on a big hydraulic lift, and they actually underseal all compartments as well. So it's not just top sealed, it's not just internally sealed, it's also bottom sealed so that uh, you're uh, you know, fighting road spray and splash and debris and whatnot. Uh, we got a, a pretty standard air conditioner set up on this, but you don't need anything more than that. This has got a 13,500 BTU AC, and you don't need more. But something I, I need to talk about is J-Ride. This has three specific things done to it uh, that you don't typically find in this uh, market segment. You've got um, basically a computer balanced drivetrain so that your wheel doesn't jiggle on you going down the road. You've got... Uh, isolation uh, rubber mounts where the uh, right up over here actually it's hard to see uh, well I mean you can't really see it from here but uh, where your uh, chassis meets the coach part right here next to your wheel well there's these giant hockey puck looking things and Jayco hates it when I call them that but it's easier for you to understand it that way and what that's doing is it uh, helps soak up that road noise, that buzzing, those bumps and jolts, so that it doesn't get translated up into your cabinetry, into your steering wheel, into your seat, and bounce and jounce here around. Uh, let's take a look inside here. As I stepped in from the exterior, I realized one of the things I should have mentioned, and that is the uh, electric power entry step. In this category, what you find a lot of is bucket style steps. And there's nothing inherently wrong with those. The only concern that I have is depending on where you're going, um, like even a lot of gas stations, they have a really steep entry curb and those bucket style steps hang low and they affect your lower ground clearance. I've always been afraid that you're going to catch those on something. That being said, I don't hear about that really happening a lot, but I don't know, maybe it's a difference between a theoretical and a practical concern. First thing I want to talk about here, completely carpetless. This has got Shaw flooring, it's extremely resilient stuff. It's made to, have, to absorb those hot and cold temperature swings so you don't get split flooring or anything like that. Um, the uh, uh, front end here, and I mean the whole Red Hawk SE series, again, simple edition. That's the best way I can describe it. It's effective though, like it, it is not just a drop in AC, it's still a centralized air conditioner. We still have a, a centrally ducted heat system. Everything that matters is here. We've got that double jointed swing arm providing our entertainment up here in that overhead bunk. And this is another one of those areas where Jayco's uh, superior construction in certain areas really shines. Uh, Jayco has, a, I've never seen anyone with a, a heavier rated front bunk, and I don't care whether it's in a Precept or the power bed, a Greyhawk, uh, this one right here, they're all 750 pound rated. All over uh, cab sleepers in all Jayco motorhomes are 750 pound rated. Industry standard is 350 to 5, so you do the math. Now again, it's more than just how much weight you can throw up there, it's the extra structural integrity. 
uh, extra, <laughs> extra structural integrity. Because when this is bouncing down the road, you have more strength, more structure, more rigidity here, so it's flexing less in the overhead area. If you have less flex up here, you're going to have less seam issues. You have less seam issues, you have less chance of seam failures. You know, it's it's kind of a cascade effect of intelligent design. Now, the uh, the cab of this area, they didn't really touch a whole lot. This is still pretty much the, the, the Chevy factory chassis cab. It's simple. It's clean. It's very effective. Actually, uh, I've actually found that I have a little more leg room in these as compared to a lot of Class C's. I don't know if that's just a, uh, a byproduct of uh, Chevy's cab design. Now, we do have uh, power side mirrors here. Something I should have mentioned on the exterior as well is this has um, tank hold, uh, heaters. This has holding tank heaters, which is an awesome feature. Um, you know, because this time of year, like when I first came out here, I had my jacket on. And then the sun came out and I took my jacket off. Well, we get a lot of hot, cold temperature swings. And overnight, it's been getting darn cold. But during the day, it's still nice and campable. So if you want to kick on your tank heaters to keep you protected overnight, you're going to be fine. Now, the whole decor of the Red Hawks over last year, if there, if I had to pick one brand of RV that we carry here at Halo RV that has most improved its decors, it's absolutely hands down the Jayco Red Hawk series. They were not handsome animals before. They really weren't. Now, they also weren't the price of a handsome animal, but now we're getting a handsome animal for the price of a not handsome animal. And I'm cool with that. That's a good mixture of things right here. All pocket screwed cabinetry. Love that big, big window overlooking your dinette. And this has the same easy up down dream dinette sleeper system that, uh, you know, pretty much all Jayco's have. Anytime you see a, uh, a booth uh, style system in a Jayco motorhome, it'll be this thing that can easily go up and down. Now, there is a lock to prevent it from going down very easily, like. I'm showing you here, but when you you want to put it up or down into a sleeper, you're set. Now, another nice thing is this is a true four-person dinette. You figure you can sleep two people on the master bed, two people on the overhead cab, or at least maybe one on the overhead cab and one down here. You've got to have seat belts for all those people. Well, this can sleep four to six, and it can seat four to six in transit. Now, Jayco's not required to have these rear-facing uh, seat belts right here. You know what else they're not required to do? They're not required to build those uh, to exceed federal regulations for seat belt safety standards by 10%. That is an extra thing they do for family safety. So whether it's extra strength in the overhead cab, whether it's extra strength in the construction, I mean, well, here's how they do it, actually. This is one of the models where it's easy to see. They have this just huge steel structural reinforcement beam back here, and they pull test this, I don't remember the number because it's a boring statistic. Even though it's an important one, I have a hard time remembering it because it's not fun, but it's something like 10,000 pounds of pressure over 60 seconds or something like that. And then Jayco makes sure they exceed that by 10%. So I, again, the, uh, the extra things like the extra brake light, um, the tank heaters, the protection methods, whether it's product protection or your physical safety and protection. They're all over it. Now, they could have gone to a lesser expensive plastic sink right here or, or composite, as some people like to call it, but they didn't. They still stuck with the nicer components. Now, this is simple, but it's effective. I've got a nice stainless sink here. It's nice and rugged. It'll hold up to a lot of long-term use. I've got great kitchen storage here, and by recessing the stovetop, they've created extra storage space here by not putting in an oven that, frankly, you don't usually need in a motorhome. That is something that I wish towable RVs would, would catch on to more, is by just putting a convection microwave up here like you see in this right here. Now, people don't realize this can bake. And they basically follow the rule of 25. Manufacturers like to say 50% faster cooking. The general ideology behind convection uh, microwave ovens is 25% less heat introduced into your RV. They cook 25% faster. Everything is 25% better. So maybe if you add up a bunch of those 25s, they get 50%. I don't know how they came up with that. Now this right here looks like a redonkulous closet. That's a technical term, by the way. But when you open it up, you actually discover it's a sweet kitchen pantry. I like wide storage instead of deep storage. Now, there's benefits both ways, and this RV has uh, storage in both fashions, wide and deep, but this is great, because when you're just cooking real quick, you want to grab a box of mac and cheese, this is what you want. You want to get your cereal box or something, there you go. Everything's easy to access. But as we come into the bedroom area, as you wrap around, and we'll look at the bed in just a minute, you see what they did with all the space behind that closet. This is a monster closet and dresser array here for the master bedroom area. His and hers dresser drawers, all plywood box construction, and oh am gosh, look at that storage. That is some great 
arcade. I mean, you could play hide and seek in here as a full adult and not have problems. Now, they're not really done there because they, they could have not included overhead extra cabinetry like this, considering this is what you call their base level, starter level, classy motorhome. But they didn't do that because it's a function thing. They made sure that all the good function stuff is there, like cross breeze windows in the headboard of the slide out. Now, this is an area where this and the 25R Red Hawk that we have here at Halo RV, they kind of, they're each better than the other in a different way. This RV is better at a destination because it's easier to walk around the bed since it's in a slide. The 25R, however, is a little more traveler's friendly, even though it's a quarter uh, a corner bed, which a lot of people aren't always excited about. It's traveling friendly because there's never a slide that you have to manipulate. If you're interested, you do have TV hookups on the wall across from the bed right there. Quick peek at the bathroom, and then uh, we'll close up some slides. We'll just wrap her up here. Now, these have an 84-inch interior height. That's seven foot tall if you're doing the math. And I like that this has a shower, not a tub, and another stainless sink, and more simple but effective cabinets storage. Great space in here. This is a long, thin bathroom, but it's very effective. A lot of floor space where you can actually get dressed in here. Big uh, viewing window for, for Breeze, and obviously <laughs> there is a uh, shade there for privacy, of course. And big medicine cabinet. It kind of rounds it out. Again, this is simple. A lot of what I've talked about is stuff that you can plainly see, but that's that's the thing is that this is this is structurally it has everything that you need it's got double the guarantees and protection of almost any other classy out there especially within this category but uh it it also has all of the important nuts and bolts widgets and and things that you're going to use on a daily basis here let's uh close the slides up and see what she looks like shall we and a quick look with the slide closed uh again on this model only having a bed slide it doesn't really change all that much. The only thing to specifically note is just the way that the uh, mattress has to fold here to accommodate the, the full bed slide. But again, the benefit being uh, when you reach your destination, you can more easily navigate uh, around the bed instead of climbing over one another. So it's a push-pull effect. If you're looking for something uh, that has a little more traveling-friendly bed arrangement, maybe take a look at the 25R Red Hawk that we have here at Halet RV. If you're looking for something like this that has a little more walk-around-friendly couples arrangement at a destination, then here you go is the 22C Red Hawk at Halet RV. Either way, we've got one for you. Let's take a peek outside. That pretty much wraps her up. So, uh... All we ask, like I said, if you found this video useful or entertaining or if you have good constructive input or you have questions, give our team here at Halet RV a call. We are uh, always interested in hearing from you folks because it is your input that helps us uh, do what we do here. Um, remember, we only do everything, hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing. Uh, we've got uh, vehicles for package deals. If you want to put a little uh, tow vehicle behind this little sucker, you can do that. Uh, we just you know, basically uh, appreciate the opportunity uh, uh, to meet you and uh, all the time that you spent with us so far. And uh, I think we've pretty much covered it. We've seen her inside, outside, slides in, slides closed. Inevitably, you'll have additional questions, though, because there's no way one person can guarantee that they've covered every single nut, bolt, and widget on this, especially considering the multi- different purposes that RVs can serve for people. Someone's going to look at this and say, great, it's a great traveling RV. Someone's going to look at this and say, oh, that'd be perfect for pulling my horse trailer to an event. Someone's going to say, oh, it's a good starter RV. Someone's going to say, I'm tired of uh, my towable RV and I'm looking for uh, something to drive now. I mean, everyone's a little different. We get it. That's why we try to have a variety of things here for you. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.